It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl as we continue our competition this year. Play along with us today and test your own science IQ. We have two great elementary schools here today. Let's meet them right now. First of all, from Cherokee Lane Elementary School, would you please say hello to Kaylee Cortez, Owen Renberg, and Favor Owakwe. And from Fort Foot Elementary, here they are, folks. Would you please welcome from Fort Foot, Zachy Nader, Carlos, Bennington and Jaden Hill. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty with the easier questions on the left worth 5 and 10 points, tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece, no penalties ever for incorrect answers. And to the two rounds today, one of these two talented, good-looking teams will come back to play our game again. Let's go over and make sure everything is working properly, and let's go to the red team. And Owen, would you push that buzzer for me? Hey, it looks and sounds a okay. Good luck to you, to Favor, and to Kaylee and Carlos. Uh, and my apologies for mispronouncing your last name, Bengalea. Yes. All right, we got it right this time. Would you push your buzzer? Thank you, young man. Boy, he's got the confident push over there. Good luck to you and to Jaden and to Zachy. I just have to say, you guys look terrific, and the very fact that you're here means you've won. Your school said you guys are great ambassadors for Fort Foot and Cherokee Lane, so just relax and have a good time because you've already won in our eyes. We go alphabetically to see who starts, so C comes before F, so Owen and Cherokee Lane, let's play the ball. Go ahead. Body subs Body systems for 10, please. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, some Americans who are looking for cheap dentists are going to Mexico to a town that they have nicknamed for this kind of tooth, of which you have 12, and you use to grind your food. They call this what city? Canine Carlos. Teeth? Canine teeth? Not canine, not canine city. They're going mm -hmm. down south. Mm -hmm. You got 12 of these teeth for grinding. They're calling this place what city, Owen? Molars. They're calling it Molar City. Absolutely right. Come on down to Molar City. Cheap fillings, guys. Go, red. Go ahead, Owen. Super Parade for 15. Super Parade for 15 points. All right, teams. Uh, this is a multiple choice question. Listen carefully. Down in Key West, there's a house where the artist, the author, Ernest Hemingway used to live, and the cats there, they don't have five toes. Some of them have six and seven. Does that make them Pollyannish, polydactylous, or polydigigrade? Yes. Polydactylous? Polydactylous, absolutely right. More than one digit or more than one phalange. Good. Go green. Okay. Um, green thing for five? Green things for five points. Teams, if you go to Seattle and visit the headquarters of Amazon, where Jeff Bezos is the president, he's going to give you a free one of these pieces of fruit, the most popular fruit in America. He's going to give you a what? Owen? What you got? A banana. A banana, yeah. Americans eat 25 pounds of bananas on average. Apples are second, about 16 pounds apiece. All right, Red, go. Let's get physical for 10, please. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, 
The water was literally sucked out of Tampa Bay by Hurricane Irma because this dropped so low. All right, Cherry Killian, what dropped so low that all the water was sucked out of Tampa Bay by Hurricane Irma? The temperature? Not the temperature, nope. Fort Foot, what, what you think? Fog. Fog? Yes, sir. What's fog? that? Fog? Not fog. The pressure, the air pressure. It was a very low air pressure. Good try, no points. Red again. Oh, and you pick. Zoop raid for 10. Zoop raid for 10. All right, this is a visual question. Everybody look at the monitor in the studio, please. All right, this cougar looking animal is called a fusa. And it lives on what island where the fusa hunts lemurs? Madagascar? Port foot. Madagascar? Madagascar, absolutely right. If you saw those Madagascar movies, yes, the fusa was the thing that was always trying to hunt down and eat those lemurs. Good answer. Go green. Um, science for no, Dateline Science for 10? Dateline Science for 10 points. Teams, the name of this national park in Montana may have to be changed because these giant ice sheets out there are melting. Icebergs? Fort Foot. Icebergs? No. What national park may have to change its name because all of the ice sheets there inside that park are melting. What you got, Owen? Glacier Park. You got that right. Those glaciers are disappearing because the earth is getting warmer. And Owen says, yeah, yeah, we got that one. All right. Cherokee Lane, 75. Fort Foot, 75. We got a tie score here. Good game. You guys are doing a great job. Owen, pick. Science potpourri for 15, please. Potpourri for 15 points. Team's unleavened bread is bread that does not rise because what fungus was not put into the mix? Yes. Cherokee Lane. Yes. Yeast? Yeah, there's no yeast, so it doesn't move. There's no carbon dioxide being produced, and Jaden knew that when he said, come on, Carlos, push the darn buzzer. You'll get him next time. Go red. Go ahead. Let's get physical for 15, please. Get physical for 15 points. Teams on the television show The Big Bang Theory. If you go into the bathroom, the shower curtain is this chart where all the chemical elements are listed, Cherokee Lane. The periodic table. The periodic table, absolutely right. So, yeah, Sheldon gets to see all those things that he knows by heart. <laughs> Go red. Body systems for five, please. Body systems for five points. To open the new iPhone 10, all you need to do is show it your what? Face. Cherokee face. Lane. Face. face. Your face? Your face. It recognizes who you are. Yeah. No one's going to break into that phone. Go red. Let's get phys I mean, green things for 10, please. Green things for 10 points. Teams, when leaves turn red and orange and yellow in the fall, it's because this pigment is no longer being produced. Photosynthesis? Ford Foot. Wait, do I recognize you before you blurt out an answer? I like your enthusiasm, though, Carlos. What do you want to tell me? Because photosynthesis is not happening? Photosynthesis. Mm, no, no. Good try. Cherokee Lane, the reds and the oranges and the yellows that appear in leaves in the fall is because what pigment is no longer being produced? Chlorophyll? Chlorophyll, yeah, the green one in there. You are on the right track there, Carlos. The buzzer says, first round is over. We've got a good game going here. Our score right now, Cherokee Lane 120. Right behind them is Fort Foot at 75, and we'll be back with round two in just a moment. Don't you go away. And welcome back to Science Bowl. So nice to have you here today. We're still early in our 32nd year of competition here in Prince George's Schools, and we've got six great players here today. Let's find out a little bit more about each one of them. Let's go to Cherokee Lane first. And Owen, nice to have you back again. I know you've been part of the team before, and you got the energy over there, man. I'm watching you. You're high-fiving and fist-bumping everybody. Did you guys prepare for this? Did you practice a lot? Yeah, we were prepared every Monday and Thursday. Well, it shows, and you're doing a great job here. Cherokee Lane, um, that's over not far from the University of Maryland, and who's your principal? Miss Hardy. Miss Hardy, she's out there rooting for you, and who's the sponsor of your team? Miss St. John and Miss Hoffner. 
both of them wonderful and they both do a great job and we appreciate them always sending us some terrific students and you have an alternate on your team don't you Owen what's yes. her name Chantel she'll be out in just a couple of minutes I always like to ask the captains from the teams what do you like best about your school what do you like to brag about when you tell people you go to Cherokee Lane that we have a really good school and our principal's really nice and we get to do fun stuff yeah. we also get 15 minutes of recess although most middle schools with sixth grade don't uh, a little bit of extra yeah. time that's important and you said nice and you said fun you know if school isn't nice and if there's no fun there you really don't want to go so it sounds like Cherokee Lane is a great place and you're a great young man tell me about yourself what do you want to do someday I want to drive a race car you want to run a race car do you have a hero of somebody you want to emulate be like not yet not yet well we'll know the name Owen there when we see it uh, when you're out there in the Indy 500 someday uh, you're welcome. Favor, nice to have you here. Now, you've been part of Science Bowl before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why do you like the show? Why do you come back? Well, because I, I just like competition. Yeah, that's a good thing, you know, because all our lives we have to compete in one way or another. And I like the shirts you've got, those customized shirts. They it, have the microscope it on. It has our name at the back. Oh, wow. And you get to keep their shirts no matter what happens, right? Yep. They're not loners. That's terrific. What do you want to do someday, Favor? Well, I want to become a pediatrician. Yeah, because you have a... A younger brother? Yeah, I have two younger brothers. Very good. So you're getting a chance to kind of know what to do in those situations. Fine person. And Kaylee, nice to have you here with us today. Uh, surgeon, lawyer, doctor, all those things are floating around in your head, right? Yes, and chef. I want to have that as a hobby, a restaurant. Yeah, yeah. that's great. And what made you want to be on the show? Um, uh, my teachers volunteered me and it was really fun at first and I continued it. So. Well, you obviously uh, know an awful lot of science and you're having a good time and we really enjoy having you here today. Keep up Thank your you. good work. You're welcome. Fort Foot, nice to have you guys here too. Carlos, tell us the Fort Foot story. Who's your principal down there? Do the amazing Dr. Goldsmith. Yeah, amazing indeed and she is here today and she's cheering. We can't hear her through the walls but we know she's cheering right now. And who is the sponsor of your team? I'm um, the very great Miss Johnson. Wow, the one and only Miss yes. Johnson. She is out there as well. Do you have an alternate on your team? Yes, Vernon Hill. Wonderful. We'll be out in just a few moments' time and tell me about Fort Foot. What is the best thing about Fort Foot? Um, that we have Italian and no other school has Italian, so it, 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 it um, increases our vocabulary in the Italian vocabulary. Yeah, absolutely. Do you speak some Italian? Yes. That's great. And is it a is it an immersion school, an Italian immersion school? Would well, you know? It's a, like a class we it's take. It's like a class you take. <laughs> but Italian is a great option. Any language is great for teaching the about our language. The more you understand a foreign language, the more you understand English. That's a great thing to have. Tell me about yourself, Carlos. Someday, what are you going to do? Become a chef. Become a chef. Whoa. Uh, do you want to have your own restaurant, maybe? Yeah, I haven't really thought about it. Okay, well let me ask you one more question. Uh, do you cook now? And if you do, what do you like to cook? Kind of. I mostly like to dig in my recipe books I got for my birthday and like to cook something for my parents. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Did you ever see that movie Ratatouille? Yeah. yeah isn't that a great movie? You know, for, if you want to be a chef, boy, that rat knew how to cook, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Jade, yep. nice to have you with us today. Thank Tell us you. about yourself. Um, I really like to play video games and I've spend a lot of time with my cat and at home period. Wow. Yeah, what's your cat's name? Parker. Yeah. And how long you had the cat? Um, about a year or so. About a year or so. Pets are great. You know, yes, they, they teach you, be care, you care for something and uh, especially pets that give back. You know, I remember as a kid having a guinea pig and guinea pigs, they don't emote. They just want to eat. They just yeah. want to eat. Yeah, cats and dogs, you do better. Nice yes. to have you with us today. Thanks. Zachy, you're welcome. Zachy, good to have you here. Tell us the Zachy story. What are you going to do someday? When I grow up, I want to be a lawyer. A lawyer, yeah. And we were talking earlier, and I said to him, I said, Zachy, do you like to argue? And he said, yeah. And do you, do you win your arguments? Most, yeah. <laughs> Very much. If you have a prospective client, you say, oh, yes, I do win my arguments, you know, because you want to be a good advocate there in court. How'd you get interested in the law? Um, well, my teachers recommended it. Like, mm -hmm. they were like, he should be a lawyer someday. So yeah. I just looked up to that. That's good, because a lot of times other people, especially adults, can see things in you guys that you don't see yourself. So, yeah, keep that in mind. All right, let's get back to the game. Fort Foot 75, 120 Cherokee Lane. Last correct answer came from the red team. So, Owen, lots of points left. Where do we go? 
Body systems for 15, please. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, some of you who go to Nats Park may have seen the big sign out in right field. It's the picture of pitcher Matt Scherzer, who has heterochromia. One of his eyes is blue, one of his, the other eye is brown. I'll give you the points if you can tell me the part of the eye that is the colored part. Pupil? Port, no, foot. Retina? No, not the retina. And before you blurt out, Carlos, always check with Jaden and Zachy, okay? Before you just start giving things up. I like all your answers, but kind of double check first. All right. Owen, Favor, Kaylee, what is the colored part of the eye that in Max Scherzer, one eye is blue and the other is brown? Pupil? The iris. The iris. That's the circle around the pupil. Good try. No points. Go again red. Let's go. Science potpourri for 10, please. Potpourri for 10 points. All right, this is a multiple choice question for you, teams. Bacteria is a plural term. If you have just one bacteria, is it a bacteriet, a bacterial, or a bacterium? Which of those three Cherokee Lane? Bacteriet, bacterial, or bacterium? Bacteriet. No, not bacteriet. Carlos. Bacterial. The one neither of you chose, a bacterium. A bacterium is a single bacteria. All right, try again. Red. Dateline science for 15, please. Dateline science for 15 points. Teams, there was a scientist by the name of Sir Richard Owen who is credited with coming up with the word dinosaur, which is strange. Okay, I hadn't asked the question. Maybe you can read my mind, Carlos. Terrible, terrible lizard? Yeah, it does mean terrible, well, it does mean lizard, but I wanted something else. Cherokee Lane, Sir Richard uh, Owen, who came up with the word dinosaur, it's unusual because he himself was not what kind of scientist? Archaeologist? Good try. Paleontologist. Paleontologist. He was not a paleontologist. And I heard you bantering back and forth, and that's the way to do it. All right, we haven't given away any points. Let's make, let's change that. Go red again. Tough questions left. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. All right, teams. Uh, teams, when some plants feel sorry for each other, they photosympathize. But if they are making food, they do this. Cherokee Lane. Photosynthesis. They photosynthesize with photosynthesis. Yes, indeed. Good. Red. This was the time for photosynthesis, Carlos. Go, Owen. Dateline science for 20 points. Dateline science for 20 points. Teams, because she passed away, Rosalind Franklin could not share the Nobel Prize with James Watson and Francis Crick for the discovery of this life molecule that looks like a double helix. What is the name of that molecule, Fort Foot? DNA. DNA, that's right, yes. And you need not raise your hand. Just push that buzzer, young man. Good, you're on the board, go. Um, zoo Parade for five. Zoo Parade for five points. All right, teams. If you are stunned and startled and you look like this, people say you look like what kind of animal in headlights? Deer. Owen. Deer? Deer, a deer in headlights, yeah. If you're driving down the highway and they jump out, they just freeze. Yeah, you didn't. Came through real well. Red. Let's get physical for five points, please. Let's physical for five points. Teams, the first rule of cartoon physics is that this force doesn't work until you look down. Gravity? Fort foot. Gravity? Please wait until we acknowledge you. Zachy and Jaden, rein them in a little bit. All right, Fort foot. Gravity? Gravity is right. Yes, go green. Go. Um, science potpourri for five. Science potpourri for five points. Team Chevrolet is making electric vehicles. They have a hybrid electric vehicle known as the Volt. And now they've come up with an all-electric vehicle with a name that sounds like Volt, but is associated with lightning. Volt? No, I said Bolt. All right, Bolt. Foot. Bolt? Bolt is right, yes. Okay, go green. Got it. Um, Dateline science for 25. Dayline Science for 25, you're going for the big one. You know you need some points. All right, teams. After watching what happened with Hurricanes Harvey and Irma, we've learned that hurricanes kill not with wind or with rain. It is this that kills more people in hurricanes. Debris. Cherokee debris. Lane. Debris. Not debris, nope. Fort foot. Lightning. Flooding. Flooding and storm surge. We've heard storm surge and flooding so much. The whole city of Houston, it seemed, was in undated. Go again, green. I'm deadline signs for five. Deadline signs for five points. 
Teams during Hurricane Harvey in Houston, when all that flooding occurred, we saw rafts made of these social insects. They linked their bodies together. These are insects that bite and they hurt. What animals were floating on insect-made rafts, Cherokee Lane? Fire ants. Fire ants, yeah. Don't mess with them. Don't mess. Go, Owen. Good answer. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. All right, teams. What same word means, listen to me, Zachy. What same word means the stem of a plant like on celery and if you track and sneak up on somebody else. What same word means Stalk. both those Stalk. things, Owen? Stalk. Stalk. Good. Thank you, Kaylee, for your assist. Go. Green things for 25, please. Green things for 25. Big one in that category is a visual question. Everybody look at the monitor here in the studio. This is the world's biggest flower called Rafflesia. It lives in Indonesia. It stinks because it's trying to attract flies to pollinate it. But my question is this. It has no leaves. It has no stem. It has no root. It lives on another creature. So it is what kind of plant? It's a parasite. It's a parasite. It can't make its own food. Go red. So let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. All right, teams, there's a lake in Ethiopia where only certain bacteria can live. They can tolerate the high temperature and the large amount of salt in there, but because the pH of the lake is just 0.2, it can also tolerate water that has a lot of what in it? Red. Yeah, it's exceedingly acidic. All right. I like how you're listening for the clues. You're doing a real nice job. Go, Red. Go. Zoo Parade for 20, please. Zoo Parade for 20 points. All right, Fort Foot, let's get ready to get on this buzzer here. Jaden and Zachy, let's help Carlos. All right. For 20 points in Zoo Parade. If you watch the National Geographic Channel, you probably know who Dr. Paul is. P-O-L. He's a wonderful veterinarian. I will give you 20 points, teams. Listen to me. If you can spell veterinarian. All right, Cherokee Lane says we can spell it, Mr. Z. Spell veterinarian. I'd like to pass it to Faber. Okay, Faber. V E T E R I A N. That's oh, you, got, you got, kind of got lost in there. It was a good try. All right, Carlos, you can get the 20 points here. Can if you, someone on your team, are you going to spell or is someone else going to spell? Repeat the question. Can you repeat the question, please? I want you to spell veterinarian. Okay. V E T E R I A N. A R I A N. You kept mixing up the N and the A in there. V E T E R I N A R I A N. Veterinarian. All right. Sorry to put you through that, guys, but it was worth 20 points. Let's try again. Go red. Body systems. Body systems. Body systems for 20, please. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, the leading cause of blindness in the world is something called cataracts. With this part of the eye, clouds over. What part of the eye clouds over, Cherokee Lane? The lens. The lens, yes, sir. Boy, Owen knew that one. He was all over that buzzer. Go. Science potpourri for 20, please. Potpourri for 20 points. All right, I know you all know this one. It's a four-part answer, but you know it. The college you want to graduate from to get the highest salary by the time you get to middle age is the U.S. Naval Academy because those graduates make $140,000 at mid-career, because 60% of the people who graduate from the Naval Academy have degrees in STEM subjects. What are the STEM subjects read? Science, technology, engineering, and math. Bingo, good, go, read. Super aid for 25, please. Super aid for 25, big one in this category, teams. Scientists recently found fossils of these kinds of animals, these kinds of animals that today are represented by wombats and Tasmanian devils and kangaroos and possums under the streets of Paris. Fossils of what kinds of animals that I just described? 
Marsupials? What's that? Marsupials? Yes, sir. Boy, am I glad you got that one. And that is the last question of the game. The buzzer says we have run out of time. It looks like Cherokee Lane has done it. We'll be back with a wrap up in just a moment. Don't go away. And welcome back to Science Well, What a great game we had here today. We are so proud of all six of our young people. Tough questions today, but they were tough competitors. They were good sports, and uh, we just are enjoyed having them all here. Let's look at that final tally today. It is four foot 130, Cherokee Lane 225. Kaylee and Owen and Faber, congratulations. And look at the alternate back there at Cherokee Lane. She is also very happy. Chantel, Miss Hoffner, Miss St. Jean, and uh, look at all those microscopes up there. You know, this was Destin. Fort Foot, I want to see some smiles over there. Carlos, I loved your energy the whole time you were putting your hand up and ringing at the same time. Jaden, you played a great game. Zachy, I want you to come back and play again, all right? Mr. Lawyer over there. And Bremen, he's already waving to everybody. Miss Johnson, thank you for being part of this yet again. And Dr. Goldsmith, we are privileged to have you here today. Thank you for supporting these wonderful students. And we thank you. We'll see you next time, we hope, on another edition of Science Bowl. I'm Dave Zarin. See you then. Bye-bye.